Hello and welcome! Today we're going to be showing off the proud first downloadable version of uh, Project Vuperia. Now, if you are in the Discord, you probably had an earlier version, but this one's a little bit more up to date and better. So let's uh, show it off. Now, there is one condition in which the game won't work on your computer, and um, yes, I. Oh, shoot, I'm probably gonna have to make a Mac and Linux download too. That's. That's a lot of effort. Um, so here we are in the game. Yes, the grass texture did change to look a bit better. And um, if you just give me a moment to load up the terrain around me. So I'll go on later about what to do if it's not working. Um, but first off, let's look at the features. So we can see a very nice mountain landscape over here. Currently, the main thing is the terrain generation. It will generate terrain all around you infinitely. And it looks pretty nice at the moment. And there's currently two different biomes. I know, so, so very impressive. Um, I'm working on more biomes now. Currently, it's just either sand or grass. Uh, I'm actually right now adding biomes, like proper ones and trees and stuff. Oh, there's the sand biome. Um, but it looks pretty nice at the moment. It's all generated on the GPU, so it's extremely fast, except for some stuttering, which is being worked on. Uh, it's, it is in an alpha build. So what can you actually do? If you hit tab and hit K, you can cheat in a shovel and like, dig. Um, that's, I, I haven't actually added a pickaxe because I haven't been I mean, I know block breaking works, so for test purposes, it's kind of a waste of time. But I'll do that at some point, and then you'll be able to mine. But that's kind of useless, so there's no point in adding it at the moment. Right now, it's more of just exploring, and I want to show everything off. So we're just going to quickly stop this. And there's a huge range in different landscapes you can get here. Uh, there's continents and oceans. And the continents have mountainy areas and plains areas and deserts and yeah. Um, so here we go. Here's a flatter area. We've got little hills up there. But let's go towards the shore uh, because I want to show off the water. I know this looks pretty bad. The merging between biomes. It'll be better. It will be better. <laughs> There's just work to be done. And this is dropping down, so I feel like down here is going to be the ocean. I love the ocean in this. It looks it looks pretty nice. Yes, there's the ocean. Wow, we've got quite the beach here. It's actually desert, but it looks like a beach. And there's the nice water, uh, which doesn't have physics yet, but it does work. So, that's nice. You can see though it doesn't fill in the holes when you break them yet that will be worked on but there's our nice oceans and let's just do one more world just to see what we've got there's one more debug tool um you guys probably don't care about the debug tools i wonder if middle click works in this i know it works in the editor i'm not so sure here no no it doesn't see i didn't expect it to um Okay, so here's our third world. Um, this one looks pretty much the same as the other ones. It's just flat. We've got some hills over there. We've got some desert over here. Uh, biomes are actually going to be based off of altitude and moisture. The moisture map you can see in the uh, grass versus sand. And altitude is obviously how high up things are. And there's a huge range in both. So I can make some pretty impressive stuff with it. Hopefully. that That's the plan, anyways. Okay, so the last debug tool there is here is if you hit F, it will uh, drain your water, uh, food, and health. Just so that I can test the bars. Uh, yeah, so <laughs> I am now dead. That's okay, though. Because it doesn't actually do anything yet. We've got very, very nice uh, land. And yeah, so let's talk about what to do if it actually isn't working. 
Um, so if it isn't working, first off, there's going to be a link in the description to the download and the Discord where you can hop over. And if we pop over to the Spook Vooper Discord, um, if you jump down to game dev, we talk about the game here. Uh, if you have an error or something, you can put it over there. But the first thing I want you to do is just type in device. Oh, jeez. Device manager. Check what display adapter you have. Google it. So, just... GTX 970 specs. And just check one thing for me. And that is going to be down here. Depending on the site, all you need to look for is what version of DirectX it supports. And if it supports DirectX 11 or above, you are fine. If not, no, the game does not currently support your computer. I'm working on a fallback for older cards, but considering most of the uh, generation is done on the GPU, it's a huge part of making the game fast and smooth. Um... But yeah, cards bought within the last like 10 years should be safe, so you should be fine. Laptops are a little more shaky. But thank you guys, if you have problems, just talk in that game dev uh, section of the Discord. And I hope you enjoy messing around in the uh, world. I will see you all next time.